Imagine this. Somewhere out there in the cosmos, on a planet far, far away, there could be life forms going about their day. How cool would that be? But it's not just about how cool it is. Discovering life beyond Earth could answer fundamental questions about our existence and place in the universe. In recent years, there's been a lot of buzz in the scientific community about this. They're optimistic that we might detect signs of life on a faraway world within our lifetimes. And guess what? They've already found hints of it on a planet outside our solar system. But before we get too excited, let's remember that these are just hints. We're still a long way from confirming anything. But hey, it's a start. And with every new discovery, we're taking one small step closer to answering that age-old question. Are we alone? But before we get into it, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you want to get notified every time I upload a new video, click the bell icon as well. It really helps me out and I appreciate it a lot. All right, let's get started. All right, let's talk about one of the coolest pieces of technology we have in our quest to find alien life, the James Webb Space Telescope or JWST for short. This isn't your ordinary backyard telescope. It's a massive space-based observatory that's been designed to unravel some of the greatest mysteries of the universe. The JWST is like the Hubble Space Telescope's big brother. It's much larger and far more powerful. It can peer deeper into space and capture images in higher resolution. But what makes it really special is its ability to detect infrared light. This allows it to see through dust clouds and observe distant galaxies and celestial bodies that are invisible to other telescopes. Now you might be wondering, what does all this have to do with finding alien life? Well, the JWST has a few tricks up its sleeve. It can analyze the atmospheres of exoplanets, planets that orbit stars outside our solar system. By studying the light that passes through an exoplanet's atmosphere, it can identify various gases and compounds. And some of these, like water vapor or methane, could be signs of life. Recently, the JWWST made headlines when it detected hints of life on an exoplanet. This is a big deal because it's the first time we've found such hints on a planet outside our solar system. While we're still a long way from confirming the presence of life, this discovery has certainly stirred up excitement in the scientific community. Now let's move on to a concept that's crucial in our search for alien life, the Goldilocks Zone. Remember the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Goldilocks didn't like her porridge too hot or too cold, but just right. Similarly, for a planet to potentially support life, its conditions need to be just right. The Goldilocks Zone, also known as the Habitable Zone, is the area around a star where it's not too hot and not too cold for liquid water to exist on the surface of a planet. Why is this important? Well, as far as we know, water is essential for life. No water, no life. This zone varies from star to star. For a smaller, cooler star, the habitable zone would be closer to the star. For a larger, hotter star, it would be further away. Our Earth, for instance, is in the Sun's Goldilocks zone. But being in the Goldilocks zone doesn't guarantee that a planet has life. There are other factors to consider, like the planet's atmosphere and its geological activity. Still, finding a planet in this zone is a good start. So when we're scanning the cosmos for potential life-sustaining planets, one of the first things we look for is whether a planet is in its star's Goldilocks zone. It's like finding a home that's in just the right neighborhood. Not too noisy, not too quiet, but just right. Let's now turn our attention to a specific planet that's been making waves in the world of astronomy, planet K218b. This isn't just any ordinary planet. It's special because it's the first exoplanet where we've detected possible signs of life. K218b is located about 120 light years away from us. That might sound like a long distance, but in cosmic terms, it's practically in our neighborhood. 
What makes K218b so interesting is that it's located in its star's Goldilocks zone. Remember what we talked about earlier? That means the conditions on K218b could be just right for liquid water to exist. But that's not all. Scientists have found hints of water vapor in the atmosphere of K218b. Now, this doesn't mean there's definitely life on K218b, but where there's water, there could be life. The discovery of these hints of life on K218b has sparked a lot of excitement among scientists. They're now working hard to confirm these findings. If they do, it would be a groundbreaking moment in our quest to find alien life. So, we've talked about where scientists are looking for life, but what exactly are they looking for? What are these signs of life that we keep mentioning? Let's dive into that. When scientists talk about signs of life, they're usually referring to what's known as biosignatures. These are substances or phenomena that provide scientific evidence of past or present life. They could be anything from certain chemicals or gases in a planet's atmosphere to particular patterns in the planet's surface or even radio signals. One of the key biosignatures that scientists look for is water. As far as we know, water is essential for life as we know it. That's why finding water vapor in the atmosphere of K218b was such a big deal. But water isn't the only thing scientists are looking for. They're also on the lookout for certain gases that could indicate biological activity. For example, oxygen in a planet's atmosphere could be a sign of photosynthesizing organisms. Methane could indicate the presence of certain types of bacteria. It's important to note, though, that finding these biosignatures doesn't guarantee the presence of life. There could be non-biological processes that produce these same gases. That's why scientists need to look at the bigger picture and consider all possible explanations. The search for alien life isn't just about finding little green men on other planets. It's a complex process that involves careful observation, analysis, and a whole lot of patience. But with every new discovery, we're getting closer to answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Are we alone in the universe? Now let's imagine for a moment that we do find definitive signs of life on another planet. What then? What would such a discovery mean for us? Let's explore some of the potential implications. Firstly, discovering extraterrestrial life would be a game changer for science. It would validate the theory that life can exist in environments beyond Earth. This could lead to new branches of science dedicated to studying and understanding these life forms. Secondly, it would have profound philosophical and existential implications. Knowing that we're not alone in the universe could change how we see ourselves and our place in the cosmos. It could lead us to reevaluate our beliefs and values and perhaps even unite humanity with a common purpose. Thirdly, it could have practical implications. If these alien life forms are more advanced than us, there might be things we could learn from them. They might have technologies or solutions to problems that we haven't thought of. On the flip side, if they're less advanced, it might give us a sense of responsibility to protect and preserve their ecosystems. Lastly, it could lead to new laws and regulations. We'd need to figure out how to interact with these life forms and their habitats in a way that's ethical and respectful. This could lead to new international treaties and space laws. Of course, these are just speculations. The actual implications would depend on many factors, like the type of life we find and how we discover it. But one thing's for sure, finding alien life would be one of the most significant events in human history. From the powerful James Webb Space Telescope to the intriguing concept of the Goldilocks Zone, from the promising signs on planet K218b to the meticulous search for biosignatures, we've seen how science is inching closer to answering one of humanity's oldest and most profound questions. Are we alone in the universe? But remember, space exploration is a vast and complex field. 
While we've covered some key points, there's still so much more out there to learn and discover. So keep that curiosity alive, keep exploring, and who knows? Maybe one day, we'll wake up to the news that we've finally found our cosmic neighbors. If you like what I do in here, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, if you have some anime that you'd like me to cover, write it down in the comment section. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.